Hello, it's Jason Pan for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, at the community of Veramendi in the gated Vista Alta section. Love this section. But the house behind me, the original buyers who was building the house, well, they backed out on it. And now I've got a, my client is seriously considering purchasing it. This is the 2895 plan, a gorgeous plan, the same as their model here in Vintage Oaks. So I can't wait to show it off. It's not finished yet. They do have some workers in there, so I hope the noise isn't too bad. All right, let's go check it out. This does have four bedrooms and a three car garage. I mentioned it's got 2895 square feet. Um, all the houses in here are gonna be green space. There's the rock wall. Um, gated community. I love this area in Vintage Oaks. And this lot is a big lot, as you can tell. There's going to be a lot of grass out here. Some beautiful oak trees on the property itself, which always adds some value and character to the house. Um, talking to the sales rep, they are considering painting this house. But if my client likes the colors as it is, um, we can make that stop and uh, just go with the colors that's already out here but a uh, beautiful community um if you have been watching my stuff for a while vera mindy is right in the heart of everything new Braunfels wise but yeah let's head on the side and hope the saw doesn't drown me in. all right if you haven't done so already hit that like button that definitely helps out a lot uh i'm not gonna make this video public but until my client either gets this under contract or somebody else does but um there is no power in this just yet like i said we're under construction there's the beautiful door. You cannot see through this glass. It's got the rain glass in there. That's going to make my client happy. But I do love this plan. I'm going to put a link to the model home right up here. So if you want to see what this plan looks like, fully completed. Uh, I did talk to the sales rep. They do have one more of these plans for sale in this uh, Vista Alta section. Um, but this one isn't even listed on MLS yet. All right, this is a front bedroom, good size room. It's got a whole ensuite, meaning we got your own bath. Uh, whoo, it's been a long day. Sink and toilet area. They're going to be kind of sharing with that one. We got kind of a Jack and Jill set up. And here is the closet. Hopefully, you can see that okay because we got no power. All right, let's roll back through. But you have tall ceilings in here. All right, let's roll through this way because this is where I believe we're going to be sharing that other bathroom. I do like the little uh, built-ins there. Another good size bedroom. And yeah, here's where you're going to have a little bit of a hallway going to that bathroom on this side where you'll have the sink and you go through this door and you will have that same toilet and bath shower combination we saw just a second ago. But with this room, you've got another closet right here, and that's a good size closet as well. All right, I'm gonna go try to go quick because the workers have stopped the sawing just for me to do this video, and I wanna respect their time. This does have a three car garage, and there it is, you can't see nothing, but there is gonna be a full three car garage in there. And right when you come in, you got a place for your shoes, your backpacks, and all that good stuff. Your laundry room right there, and I think we'll be able to, yeah. This is gonna be the laundry room. Sorry, there's really no light, you can't see it, but there's a lot of good space in there. Coming to the right, if you come in from the garage, you have another bedroom with its own full bath, little shower tub combination, and then this big old room right here as well. So lots of rooms in this house, they're all really good size. Eight foot doors all the way throughout, that's always nice. All right, let's go to a spot where hopefully we got enough light in here to really showcase what this house has. Um, the sales rep said this house is priced as the same as the other one, but this one has a lot more upgrades already built into it including that sliding door. That's probably a $12,000 to $15,000 upgrade just to have that sliding door, which really makes this house a great deal. It's gonna have a huge island on it. Like I said, they're still working on it and a gorgeous backsplash. See him finishing up some final touches there. Lots and lots of can lighting in here. Dig the big bulb pendant lighting and a fireplace already in it. It looks like they're taking the tile up pretty high. Uh, 
This room here is going to be very important to my client because they got a grand piano and trying to find a house that would accommodate a grand piano and good gosh this can accommodate the piano and a bar or whatever you want to do with it because this thing is huge lots of lots of nice natural lighting in here and this is going to be a really big wide lot uh wait i think there might be another house going in right next to it here so there's going to be put a 50 foot wide lot there so there will be a house there eventually but this space is just really open, really nice, and a very tall ceiling all throughout. Let's go check out the pantry because that's often a deal breaker with folks. Uh, this is gonna be a place for your refrigerator. And we've got a decent sized pantry, kind of goes around this way and then back this way. All right, coming around, I do dig the backsplash. They're gonna be doing some different stuff with this cabinet trees because it's not finished just yet. View from where the sink will be. I don't know what type of sink is going to be in there just yet. But you do also have a really big breakfast nook area, formal dining room, whatever you want to do with it, with lots and lots of light. All right. Since they've got these big sliding doors open already, as I'm filming it, it is 1 November 2024. The weather's really nice. It's kind of nice having these doors open this time of year. But what I like about the Vista Alta section, you can see there's the other house. This property line's gonna go back up here to kind of where the dirt stops. Uh, you can, and it's gonna have a wrought iron fence going back. Oh, I don't, actually I don't think in this section you don't even have to have a fence up. You can put a fence up if you wanted to. But you do have these beautiful oak trees right in your backyard. The sun sets back off this direction, so that's gonna give you plenty of shade on this space with this big back uh, patio area. And I was talking to the sales rep. One of my things is I was like, man, I hope they uh, clean this up because you are paying $1,900 a year for HOA fees. Uh, but once everything's built out, the HOA gets managed by the PEEP residents inside here. So whoever they elect, elect as the HOA president, they can allocate some of that funds to kind of keeping this a little more manicured if the residents want that to happen. To me, I would like all this to be like community stuff. Shoot, having a fire pit session going on would be really nice. But uh, yeah, this spot here... I'm pretty sure there will be another house in between. So they are gonna be a little bit tight in here because yeah, you see a house there and another house that's being built right on that side. But I do love the fact there's gonna be nobody directly behind you and you're gonna have plenty of view of these gorgeous oak trees back there. All right, let's head on back in. And this is a gas community. We've already got it plumbed for an outdoor kitchen. All right, we've done the fr front three rooms. This is the master bedroom coming back this way. Oh wow, they've got the little cathedral style master bedroom ceiling there. I really like that a lot. And there's lots of space in here. Love this uh, little more modern barn door coming in. We do have the uh, boxed in soaking tub. Not the freestanding one, this is a boxed in one, but you do have plenty of space in here. Got the opaque windows, so nobody can actually see you, but still allowing light. Two different vanities set up that direction. A little linen closet. This decent sized closet here, not gonna be a big one, but I think there's another closet. A shoe rack right there. And let's go around to the other side. Because yes, you do have another closet back this way. But I also wanna show off this gorgeous shower and it's got the rain shower feature in it as well. And this kind of really nice shiny uh, tile on here. Mud is at uh, flooring, meaning they cut it into the foundation. But yes, here comes the much bigger closet on this side. We're gonna have two different hanging racks, doubling what 
some places show, and I know it's dark in here. I'm trying to get enough much light as possible, but you do have a shoe rack right here and two different rows. Toilet kind of back away from the entrance of the master bedroom. I had a different client uh, that was one of his pet peeves. He wanted the toilet the master bedroom. Because certain sounds are coming out of your body, you don't want somebody to hear that if you're in the master bedroom. So he like he would have liked that feature. All right, we do have, like I said, still tall ceilings in this master, I mean, the main living area. It's a beautiful home. Uh, I'm sorry, it's under construction at the moment, so you're not really seeing it in its full grandeur, but you are gonna have cabinets opening right there to put like mixing bowls if you wanna cook. But hey, you get to see what's inside this stuff as of now. All right, uh, I think we've covered everything. I might have missed this little room right here because this is gonna be your powder room. And let's see if that comes in because yeah, you have full uh, pedestal sink there and a toilet kind of tucked away a bit from everything else. Very nicely done. All right, I hope you enjoy the tour. I forgot, I didn't mention the asking price. As of one November, Perry's asking 800,000 for it, but they've got some great incentives of $30,000 that can be used towards closing costs, buying the price down, or lowering the interest rate. My buyer's gonna be a cash buyer coming in from California, so he doesn't have to worry about interest rates so he can sit, save that, put that money towards closing costs or buying the price down. So it really could work out for him, and I hope it does. But I want to do this video just for him so he has all the information possible and for his wife because she's not on this trip with him. Um, but if they decide to get it on a contract, then I'll make it public. If someone else gets it on a contract, I'll make this video public as well. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. Of course, want to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family, especially if you know someone moving to the Texas Hill Country area and they're not already working with a real estate agent. And people still have a hard time believing that it doesn't cost you anything to use a real estate agent to buy one of these production homes. So please don't go running around blind. Reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final slide and in the description box, along with a relocation guide link to the New Braunfels area. All right, take care now. Bye.